taken you outside and had him outside, but oh God, he's asleep. And it's freezing, it's still windy. Uh, so after this, I'll probably film it in the house. But I wanna show you my favorites that have been so far this year, because if I say for the last month, um, here we are in the middle of March. So, as you know, we are funded by JBS Farms and viewers like you. And today, I'd like to show you my sugar fluff bath bomb or shower bomb, shower steamers. It's hard to get out. Anyway, um, sometimes I don't want to use a whole bath bomb for the bath. So you can just put one or two of these guys in. There's, I think there's eight in the package. And sugar fluff is, I made a blend of Hello Sugar, bubblegum, cotton candy, and ginger ale, because I wanted a little fizz for the fun of it. And guess what's back in stock? Violet meteorites. This is an ode to Guerlain. Because they have, all their powders are scented with violet, and I found a beautiful violet, and I made the little meteorite balls. And it's all soap, so, oh. I just, I just keep going like that because now's the season for violets to its spring. Okay, that was freezing. Battery's gonna die. So we're in the cottage and we'll see how long the battery lasts. Let me show you my favorites from like the beginning of this year. I really got into finally uh, the Viseart Neutral Palette. I'll hold it this way because that's the way everybody sees it. Uh, I saw a lady that she used it for contour and eyeshadow. And highlight. She couldn't, you know, you can't really do a blush, but got a lot of use out of that. Another eyeshadow that I got, I, I couldn't contain myself, was I got the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. Uh, I thought I'd be really bored with it because there's so many of these light colors, you know, not, not variety, but it turns out I don't really use variety. I have tons of palettes, but uh, anyway, um, you know, these two are the transitions all the time. I've used this for eyeliner and I love it. I've used this on my lid and it's not that bright. Um, heck, I've even used the black, which I never use and they always put in palettes. But anyway, I really enjoyed that. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did and I used it a lot. Another palette, uh, Emily gave this to me and it's the It Cosmetics Must Have Palette. And, ta-da, this is the Vitality Matte no, wait. This is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Blush Je Ne Sois Quoi. <laughs> I can't say it. Anyway, uh, it's a real popular one from uh, It Cosmetics. And it does. I don't have it on right now. But it, I have the Dior uh, Cheek and Lip Stain. But I love this. And this bronzer works nicely. It's not too dark. And you know, you do your three. And then this is a cream uh, highlighter. Well, here I go. The swatch. Swatches don't tell me a whole lot, but, well, yeah. And of course it's freezing in here too. Um, and then the pressed powder is the Bye Bye Pores, but it's not gonna show on my hand. I have this all in a pile to show you guys. Oh God, I've got this on again. Another thing that I really liked is the Mali Pore Defender. Uh, it's just kind of a jelly, and now I'm hit pan, but at the bottom comes the little um, sponge, and you just kind of rub that on and go, mm -mm -mm, and it, it mattifies everything. And you don't look powdery, of course, because it's not a powder. But uh, I, I, this was in my use up this year list, and uh, so it made me use it, and I really like it. I hope I don't want to buy any um, powders. Um, I've been loving the Dior Nude Air Glowing Gardens Number no. Two uh, highlighter. There it is, and here it is, like that. Why do we always put it on that finger? We're not giving it the finger. But anyway, there you can't see, but there it is. And it's so pretty, but it's plastic. It's not metal. As you know, I got a sample of the Chanel. Uh, Perfection Velvet, and I love it. I have about four other foundations I should use up. But um, I would buy this, but I gotta use up that other stuff. I even have that Rachel K. CC cream that I should use up my Laura Mercier um, mineral powder. I've been really enjoying the Tom Ford, more than I thought I would, um, Platinum. 
Oh, there's not a little lid. The Platinum. And I have that on my lid today, along with Gwen Stefani in the rest of it. And what I, I did the white Gwen Stefani all the way up. Oh, sure. I think it was called Stark or something. Um, I used this over the whole lid to brow. Then I used these two in the crease, and I tried to darken up the outer part of the crease, and then I ended up using a little bit of that too. And then I put the pl Tom Ford Platinum right on the lid. I found this, didn't even put this in my, oh, I should use up this year, but the Too Faced uh, Shadow Insurance, I really like it because that just goes on really easily. There's no color to it. I don't need color. Painterly from MAC, the paint pot's just fine, but Here's this, it's kind of skin tone, but where'd it go? There it is, and it just just goes into nothingness. I like it, it holds the colors. I like that it comes in a tube, not a wand, and I don't have to stick my finger in it. What is it, the Roller Lash from Benefit. I finished my Better Than Sex, loved that mascara from Too Faced. Then I started the uh, Urban Decay Perversion. Didn't like it, it just kind of turned black, it didn't thicken, it didn't lengthen. Um, but the roller lash goes on a little bit, it's got an interesting little curved type wand, and I, I still like the, the Too Faced Better and Sex better, but this is, this is nice, and you know, I can find this tube in the drawer. I sent to uh, the perfumed court, because they were having a February 29th, Day sale and there was 20% off and they never have 20% off so I sent for it and it was the Tom Ford Venetian Bergamot and I went for it I went for half ounce that was the biggest decant that they did and here smell it smells like spring I get the limes and the orange and the floral right off the bat but anyway so um, this would have been like $80 but I think I got it for 60 some uh, and that's with the shipping and everything. So uh, I didn't have to spend $220 to get a little bit to keep spraying. Just for the heck of it, on my lips today, I have on the Rouge Dior number 775, Darling. There it is. It's freezing in this room, so <laughs> it's not real goopy, but it um, it is very creamy going back to my counter. I need a counter in front, don't I? And this is the Darling Gloss that goes with it. Well, that's pretty... It's pretty gushy. So it goes great with black and white. It gives you a little pow. And to top everything off after I've done all my finishing powder and everything, I've been using my Fresh Roses Facial Spritz, and it's got Rose Hydrosol and Bamboo Extract, and it smells like fresh floral from the from the florist roses and um, it, it's kind of natural and just sets everything and makes all your um, layers of powders and everything congeal. How's that for a word? Um, such a good word. So JBS Farm thanks you so much for your support. Oh, these violets are amazing, and they take forever to make because I have to make each little ball of different colors, and then I go about making the soap a pour of a layer, put the balls in, put another layer, and I try to make the balls nice and deep this time so that um, they don't stick out so much, but they, they are three-dimensional. And then the sugar fluff bath fizzies that you... Fill, put, place one in your filled bathtub or at the bottom of your shower and it fizzes and it smells good. It's very sweet. Kids are going to love these. And if you have a sweet tooth, you're going to love it too. So until next time, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.